divine beings of the cosmos. I hope you're taking care of yourself. I hope you're out next to getting sun, drinking water. It is very crucial during this time of growth, expansion. Some would even say ascension. I said, I want to start like per usual. To start by setting my intentions. I intend to be my highest self at all costs. My DNA is restored, activated, transformed, transfigured, embodying my soul essence. I will my will to the oneness of the divine. I say, family. Let's go. Ah, mm, welcome to the main event. Applying pressure, but I promise I ain't make it then. In their heads, living free. I ain't paying rent. Wake up in the AM making cheese like Mercedes Benz. Whoa, yeah. Please don't take offense. It isn't you. I'm just not interested in making friends. My biggest fear is. The role of a star seed and light worker. You see, the Galactic Federation message emphasizes the crucial role played by the star seeds and the light workers. In Earth's ascension process, these individuals possess a very high vibrational energy and a very in tune spiritual awareness, and is making them essential to guiding humanity and the planet towards higher dimensions. So, if you're new and you're wondering who are they, star seeds and light workers are souls from higher dimensions who have incarnated on Earth to assist with the planet's spiritual evolution. They come from various star nations and galaxies bringing advanced knowledge, wisdom, and energies. These beings are characterized by a deep sense of purpose, strong intuitive abilities, and a natural inclination towards spiritual practice. Starting at the 144 star seeds originally, it was believed that 144k star seeds would participate in Earth's ascension. However, this number has significantly increased, indicating a surge of light and higher consciousness. This overwhelmingly presence of the star seed amplifies the collective efforts to raise the planet's vibrational frequencies, making the ascension process way more robust and far reaching. Contributions to this ascension, star seeds and light workers contribute to ascension in many, many of various ways. One of them being grid work. Many are involved in energetic and grid work helping stabilize the uplifting of Earth's energies system. We also have angelic assistance. They collaborate with the angelic realms, especially during sleep in the astral realms to receive the guidance and perform healing work on a very, very global scale. And one of the main ones is we spread love and truth by embodying it and sharing the high vibrations of the truth in our daily lives. This influences those around them, raising the collective consciousness. hearing is really you hearing yourself. Ashe. You see, the only thing that's outside the box is what's within you. We are the enlightened ones. We are the creators. Don't listen to the narratives. We also perform many different spiritual practices such as group meditations, visualizations, and great powerful energetic milestones, helping humanity with unconditional love, facilitating the most beautiful ascension process. Also, my personal favorite as a mama's boy, Mother Earth, her high vibration helps humanity, including the star seeds and light workers, to play a pivotal role in aiding Mother Earth. Through their work, they help cleanse the planet of dark energies and entities, allowing Mother to integrate new elements of consciousness and preparing for the transition of the fifth dimensions. I want to put a fire under the light worker's ass and um, initiate the ascension process with the first wave approached many of the star workers and light workers were prepared to ride the initial wave anchoring the light of the fourth dimension this preparation involves very extensive spiritual practice energy healing and maintaining high levels of consciousness now this second wave will allow supported by the foundation laid by the first wave ensuring a broader and more exclusive transformation so in summary, my star seeds and light workers, it is vital for Earth's ascension. Their presence and efforts and high vibrational energy support the planet and humanity in transitioning to higher dimensions, creating more of an enlightened and harmonious world. 
Ashe, know that there is no separation between me and you and even this voice that you hear. The only separation is the mental construct. The literal world you framed in reality. Knowing words make worlds. You are not separate. Join us as we ascend together, family, for the greater good of all. As always, Earth Angels, gang gang, we taking off. It's clear in this present time, present time of danger, that there is a war on humanity, war on the minds, war on the body, and war on the soul. And knowing truly what's going on, not in the sense of stories and narratives, but knowing at least myself and who I am, knowing that being in a human, having the soul awareness to govern yourself outside of a limited perspective of I.